Venezuela, Bolivia, Peru, Argentina. This mission has failed. None of them opens the sauna, so it's... Moi! This video is gonna be on the go and what I want to talk about is nothing. Actually, I'm just walking around the neighborhood. One of the things you will immediately notice if you are in Finland and you're coming from Latin America is that, as you can see, houses in Finland have no fences at all. No fences, no bars on the windows, if you are Finnish, you are used to this, but if you are not Finnish, then you will immediately find it interesting. And one thing especially I want to show is that every house, this is a typical Finnish house, and you can see how they have these little uh, fire stairs. So in case of fire, you can get out of your house. The funny thing, is that um, these stairs are well placed leading directly to the window of the homes can you imagine this kind of thing in latin america in i don't know venezuela bolivia peru argentina this kind of look at this one for example this house over there it has a little ladder that leads up to the second floor window and the window is open and it's not an issue more of those little ladders fire ladders or in latin america will be invitation to crime ladder and one more Finland, uh, according to a quick Google search, is the third most safe country in the world after the Netherlands and Austria. United States is not even in the list. Whoa. I checked from another website and it says that it's number 28 or something like that. Here you can see another example of a stair leading to the second floor window. And by the way, it's really warm today. It's 27 degrees. And it says that feels like 28. So it's weird for Finland. Well, it's not weird, but it doesn't happen very often. But now we are in the summer. So we should be grateful for that and not question it <laughs> instead. Actually, maybe I extend this a little bit and I will show some other small things about maybe the building where I live some curiosities so let's go little small curiosity every building has this little brushes on the front so during the winter time people can just wipe their shoes in them and they won't make everything dirty inside let's check now the trash room so every building has these trash rooms and here you have a box for every kind of trash, so plastic, mixed waste, um, soft cardboard, more soft cardboard, glass, metal, energy waste and organic waste. Uh, this is interesting and we should actually learn a little bit from this because I think in Latin America we just throw everything in the same in the same bin 
And then recycles, recycling companies are the ones that actually do the heavy, heavy work of separating items. Many buildings, at least buildings where I have lived in other countries, there is, each, each floor has a room for the trash and then you have this kind of duct where you just throw the trash and it goes, it falls down to a kind of like a trash warehouse. But here in Finland you don't have that, or at, at least I haven't seen it. So you have to take your own trash and go downstairs and take it to this wonderful, amazing room. This mission has failed because every building in Finland has a sauna downstairs that people can just reserve and come and use it. I wanted to show the sauna, <laughs> but I brought all of my keys and none, none of them opens the sauna, so it's... Let's go home with our tail between our legs. I was at the gym actually right now, before making this video. And then I decided to maybe make, make one because uh, I wanted to talk before about where can you travel with, a, with an Argentinian passport in 2020. But I tried to make that video, it was boring, so I deleted it. Then I tried to make it again, it was boring again, so I deleted it again. And I was thinking about comparing uh, the real size of countries because the map that we know the most popular map, the rectangular map that we know as Mercator projection, that actually doesn't show the countries at scale. So there is a website that you can go to and drag and drop countries and put them next to each other and compare the real size of them. And I thought that one could be interesting. I am just waiting at the moment for countries in Europe to start opening the borders. I want to travel to an island which is populated by Vikings descendants and I think it's going to be really interesting to go there and I have been wanting to go there for a while it will be my country number 36 that I visit so this Viking island I really want to go there but let's see some countries have already opened the borders with Finland and Finland with them for example Norway, Iceland um, I think Germany, as soon as they say that they have opened the borders, I will buy those plane tickets. Because so let's see, Finland hasn't had any death related to this virus in three days in a row. Cases are dropping, now we have no restrictions, restaurants can open and operate with uh, total capacity if they want. Things are getting back to normal slowly. Yeah, it's quite hot today. One more thing. If you think you know which country I'm talking to, uh, well, try to guess. Also, subscribe. I need subscribers. I have very little subscribers. I know I'm just starting, but it will get better, I promise. So, subscribe.